Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Sarah Thompson, and I'm here with Kelly Childs of the Waldorf, Waldorf School of St. Louis. And I want to continue our discussion because, you know, I have young children, and I know when we've looked at, you know, schools around St. Louis, and um, especially for starting for early childhood, it is somewhat overwhelming when you see the different approaches. You know, there's Montessori schools and the Reggio approach and classical, classical and these categories, and you're not quite sure because you want to – find the best fit for your child, but your child is also developing. How, in your experience, not just as a board member, but as a parent, how have you seen the, this fit for your children at the Waldorf School? Sure. Well, that's a great question because I have two children, and they are very, very different from mm-hmm. each other. Um, my son, who's the oldest, is a little more cerebral, um, and my daughter is much more artsy mm-hmm. and um, in the clouds sometimes and what I have found to be really amazing is this education is really meeting both of them Hmm. Um, so that's something by design in the curriculum um, is brought through story especially in the earlier grades and, and the early childhood and every story is sort of told to meet each of the the temperaments so that kind of goes back to the early philosophers but um so, so I, I definitely think that the teachers also really look at each child and, and who they are and, and able to, to meet uh, those needs. Mm-hmm. No, that's great to hear. Let's, let's talk about the arts and the sure. emphasis on the arts. Uh, tell me a bit more how that gets worked into the curriculum. Sure. The arts are really infused into every aspect of the curriculum. In fact, it's interesting because I'll have some friends go take a look at the website and they'll come back to me and say, oh, that's, that's really an art school, isn't it? Because <laughs> they'll see all, you know, examples of the arts and we have a music program and the kids, the children create their own textbooks and they bring colored pencils into math and into science and, and all the, the designs and drawings. But what's really interesting is that there was a national um, survey done a few years ago, and uh, Waldorf students are about 50% more likely to go into the math and sciences than the national average. So we're doing it with the arts. Through the arts, mm-hmm. which is really, and what do, you, what do they attribute that, that to, that where you're emphasizing our arts at an early, early age, but then that translates to going into maths and sciences? Sure. I think it's that really creative approach, and just it's, it's opening up um, that exploration, but I would also say that the the Waldorf approach, especially starting in the grades program, mm-hmm. really takes a scientific approach. So there is a lot of observation that is being done. Um, mm-hmm. The students, for instance, in a science class, they're not going to be told about the experiment and you're going to do, and this is the outcome. They may walk into the classroom and the teacher will have an experiment set up. Mm-hmm. There may be no words and the experiment will be done, right. and then they start piecing it together mm-hmm. and come to the conclusion, and that's the very experiential mm-hmm. right. piece and of so it. So the mind is, their minds are being trained to think differently over a period of time. And that, yeah, no, that's really, really quite fascinating. I do want to talk about you, the grading system and grades and grading system. Tell me how this is unique at the Waldorf School. So we do take an untraditional approach that is not like old school for the, <laughs> yeah. for the grading system in which that our students do not get grades. Um, we do not have standardized uh, standardized testing, mm-hmm. um, but they do instead get an assessment from the teacher, and this is again goes back to them really looking at each child. So mm-hmm. I think mine last year were upwards of 15 pages mm-hmm. um, at the end of the year of, of where my child mm-hmm. is developmentally and, and how they're doing and what they might need to work on, and but where they're blossoming mm-hmm. and um, really looking at too just just how to support those children in their own unique talents. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got this open house coming up. What do you say to parents who are thinking this is kind of the season to go visit visit schools? What about coming to the Waldorf School? What would you say to parents? What are they going to learn and see? Absolutely. I think um, come on by and ask questions and and get a sense. You can really get a sense just by coming into the the environment and um, see if you feel inspired. Because that's what we're about is we want to inspire children to learn. It's not necessarily cramming the vestibule full of information, but inspiring and igniting that fire in them. Okay. Well, thank you so much. For thank you. Here. Thank you. All right. Well, to learn more about the Waldorf School of St. Louis, you can visit them at the open house on January 30th, or you can visit their website at waldorfstl.org. There's more STL Live right after this. We'll be right back.